Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're pitting two upcoming Xbox consoles against each other to help you decide which one you should buy. It's the Xbox Series X versus the Series S. <laughs> Will the smallest Xbox in history come out on top, or should you get the superior powerhouse? Let us know which one you plan on getting in the comments below. Round 1. Price It's no secret that 2020 has been a rocky year for most of the world, and that is putting it gently. So, many folks may not be ready to throw a few hundred dollars down for a high-end console like the Xbox Series X. With a price of $499 USD, one can think of many ways to better their life with that much money. And that you could have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. For some, that's a good few cartloads of groceries. For others, that's a good chunk of rent or bills. Thankfully, customers do have an option of making payments on a monthly basis at $34.99 USD per month with zero APR. As enticing as this sounds, this only strengthens the Series S as it comes at a cheaper price, $299 USD, or monthly payments of $24.99 USD with no APR. Let me hear you. Yeah, we're keeping this round short. The clear winner is the Xbox Series S as it's the most financially friendly to those on a tighter budget. Sure, the Series X is higher-end, but if you can't fork over that amount of money or don't do enough gaming to care about high-tech, you're better off getting the Series S. You'll save money and still get enough value out of it. Winner, Series S. Round 2. Smart Delivery Backwards compatibility may not be on the radar for some companies, but there are still plenty of players who want to revisit older titles. And they want to do so at the highest quality possible. Luckily, Xbox is looking to satisfy those players through their own smart delivery feature. With Xbox Series X and S, your favorite games seamlessly scale across devices while maintaining what's new and innovative about our next generation consoles. If a game is supported by this feature, you'll be able to play the best version of the game possible. So, if you bought an Xbox One game before buying a Series X or S, you'll have access to that game on your new console and at the highest fidelity. Sounds simple enough. Unfortunately, this feature comes with two caveats with the new Xbox consoles, specifically the Series S. See, the Series X will be able to play your games at their full potential. The Series S, on the other hand, will only be able to output these games at the same quality as an Xbox One S. Granted, that isn't that big of a downgrade, but knowing you aren't getting the best quality possible is somewhat disappointing. Sorry Series S, but your bigger brother is taking this one. Winner, Series X. And finally, you would dream where you are now. Round 3. Visual Design We can deliver the same core gaming experience while also making it as easy as possible for developers to scale their games across both consoles with minimal effort. We aren't necessarily judging these consoles based on their appearances. After all, it doesn't matter how they look as long as they run amazing games, right? Sure, some may be a little more concerned about a console's visual appeal, but that's not what we're getting at here. We don't just want a pretty face, we want something that's going to be efficient as well. Our smallest, most affordable, all-digital, next-generation Xbox console. We all joke about the Series X looking like a mini-fridge or a PC tower that looks slightly off, but our concern lies elsewhere. The console's air vents are located on the top, which raises an alarm for us. Isn't that going to attract a good amount of dust? Won't that make the inside of our consoles susceptible to dirt? And hopefully the holes aren't big enough for bugs to crawl inside. Seriously, this has been a more common problem than you might think. <laughs> How about we go over the plan? The Series S seems a little more manageable as its vents are located on the sides of the console where the dark circle is placed. It might be a pain in the butt to get the dust out of each individual hole, but the smallest Xbox ever shouldn't have much of a problem keeping filth out of the system. And the best part? Doesn't look like any bugs will have an easy time getting in there. Series S steals the win here. Winner, Series S. Round 4. Performance 
Both consoles are powered by the Xbox Velocity architecture, which means you can expect the same next generation benefits from Xbox Series S, including faster load times, consistent and higher frame rates. Of course, this is arguably one of the most important factors when buying a brand new console. You want something that's going to run games at their best quality, and you want it to do so without having a meltdown, crashing, or catching fire. Both Series X and Series S have significant upgrades to load games faster, but it's pretty obvious who's taking this round. Here, you can see how much more quickly games can load on Xbox Series S. The player on Xbox Series S is already enjoying the Outer Worlds. The Series S boasts some moderate upgrades for a $300 price tag. 10 gigabytes of RAM, a 512 gigabyte solid state drive, and four teraflops give you enough power to experience games in next-gen fashion. On top of that, it has the potential to run games at 120 frames per second. At 120 frames per second, every reaction and input is translated to on-screen action even faster. Although, this isn't much compared to the Series X. While it does come at a hefty cost, you're getting a machine that wields a lot of horsepower. Users will be given a terabyte of storage, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and 12 teraflops to optimize your game at its utmost potential. It can also run games up to 120 frames per second, and you even get a Blu-ray disc drive. So those of you who like physical copies of games aren't being left out. We're obviously giving this round to the Series X, as it boasts more power than the Series S. When it comes to AAA games, you're going to want the best performance possible, especially considering how big they're getting. Winner, Series X. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Round 5. Resolution Xbox Series X is designed to deliver a next-generation gaming experience in native 4K at 60 frames per second with support for up to 120 frames per second. Notice how we left out resolution in the previous round? Well, we did it because this factor extends a bit farther than just what's going to look prettier on my TV. Let's cut to the chase. The Series S only displays at 1440p, while still retaining the 120 FPS potential. Series S is designed to deliver the same great next-gen experience at 1440p. As for the Series X, users can expect support for not just 4K resolution, but 8K as well. This is where customers need to think long and hard about which console to purchase. If you're someone who doesn't care much for the latest in graphics, you're probably going to lean more toward the Series S. In which case, you do you. 4K resolution still isn't the standard, at least not at the time of this video's release, as many people and their TVs have gone so far as Ultra HD. But there's still plenty of time to wait and see where things go. Developers will typically optimize their games first for 4K on Series X, and then scale down the rendering resolution to 1440p for Xbox Series S. This is where the Series X takes on a somewhat different identity. This isn't just a brand new console you're buying. Like a new computer or a laptop, this is an investment. With 4K and 8K support, this is where customers should ask themselves if and when they might get a 4K TV. If you want the best possible resolution and performance, the Series X is the way to go. Even if you don't have a 4K TV at launch, you could always save up and get one later down the line as they're becoming much more affordable. Move and the back of your head's gonna be so full of phosphorus, it'll be a war crime. With that in mind, Series S may be good for those looking to get a new console at a cheaper price, but the Series X is something that can easily pay off whenever customers feel they need to jump to 4K. Winner, Series X. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.